Hi guys, it's me, Julie Gulia. Although you can't see me, haha. I'm here with part two of my new makeup storage, um, yeah, video. Uh, I already showed you my new brush holder. I'll put a link to that bar or to that to the blah 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 blah. blah. I will put a link to that video down in the information bar so you can check that out if you want to. But uh, I'm just going to move over now to my new setup which is right over here. This is my Alex drawer unit from Ikea. And this is a black drawer unit that you find in the um, office supply section, or like the office furniture section. And uh, if you'd seen the video that I made last year, I had a little two tower unit that I got at Costco and it was like kind of chrome metal with um, plastic drawers. And so uh, what I've always wanted is a big drawer unit like this. So this sells at Ikea for, oh, I can't remember how much it is, like a hundred and, it was like a hundred and twenty or a hundred and fifty dollars. I can't remember how much, but it's, you know, good old melamine construction. Uh, on the top, it gives me enough space to put out my little towers that I have for my nail polish. Uh, these little guys are stackable bamboo trays that I put my, when I take my jewelry off at night, like my watch and my bracelets that I wear every day. And then just here, I've got my uh, nail polish remover, my brush cleaner, my bioderma, and my little, um, this is the new e.l.f. mineral, it's not mineral, sorry, e.l.f. studio makeup mist and set with aloe green tea and cucumber uh, I don't really like it and I don't know if it's this one or the whole concept like I tried spraying it on my face and I found that it made my where the little droplets hit my face kind of made my makeup come off so I had like little polka dotted face got some Bath and Body Works candles and then we get down to the drawers so there's one two three four five six drawers uh, the bottom two look to be a little bit deeper but they're not it's just the drawer fronts that are deeper like this part here is a little bit higher okay and why I love this I will show you is when you open them up you have lots of room to store everything so all of the little organizers inside came from either Walmart or the dollar store. The, I will say I have one complaint about this drawer system, and it's a pretty big one, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to fix it. So if you can see here, the little drawer slides here stop right here. So there's all this room at the back that I can't access. And because the drawers are so shallow, it's not like the drawers down lower where I could see what's in the back. You can't see what's in the back there. So I can only store, I lose that much storage. And I can, so I can only store stuff back here that uh, I can, you know, afford to lose or things that I will remember being back there like backups. So I've got a couple of backups of foundation and stuff back there. So let me show you. So this is my top drawer. And uh, because I sit at my desk like this, I have the drawers arranged so that I can sit here and, and pull out what I need and, and see what I need. That's why you'll see back here the blushes are all facing me. Okay, so just to show you these storage bins, these are clear storage bins from the dollar store. And you can get them in different colors, but I like the clear. And they come in this length, something that's about this long, and then they have like ones that are sh like more rectangular, like they're wider than they are long. Uh, so in the front here, and I kind of arrange like as I wear them. So in the front, this is all of my concealers and my primers. Got some primers there. Then I've got my mineral foundations and concealers. And I've put my little Makeup Forever in here because it's just small enough to fit in there. Uh, but I do have room. What's great about these two is I now have room. So if I get a lot, I can just turn them up on the side like that. So... It's fitting my storage needs right now, and there's a little bit of wiggle room, too, to grow into, because you can see here there's a whole space here that I'm not using. Then I've got, you know, my um, cream foundations and my moisturizing, my tinted moisturizers, and then into my liquid foundations, and I've gotten rid of a lot of them. I've probably tried about 20 new foundations in the last year, but... I've narrowed it down to these three because either these are the ones that are working best for me and this right now, the fit from Maybelline is my favorite. And then here I've got my finishing powders. 
moving a little bit further in, you can see this is a chrome um, cutlery tray that I got at Walmart. Um, I've got my cream blushes up front here. Then you can see my uh, highlighters in the back there. Then over here I've got my most used blushes, um, uh, other blushes, and then my bronzers at the back because I don't necessarily use bronzer every day. Now this is my eye drawer, and these units are Rubbermaid. I think they're Rubbermaid. Yeah, Rubbermaid cutlery organizers. Got these at Walmart again. So this shows you how big they, it fits two of these. So that's quite a big one. So again, up here at the front, I've got, these are my newest palettes that I got at Christmas time. These are my neutral palettes and these are like my favorites. I love those. So I've got those right up front here. Um, I'm always looking for the proper storage place for my eyelash curler because it gets pushed, you know, you have to squish it to close it, but it almost fits here perfectly. I've got a little sampler, sampler pot from uh, Coastal Scents in like a shimmery blue. It's actually quite nice, like a marine blue. Um, and this is my brow area here. This is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And then I use this um, NYX eyeshadow trio oop, in, oh, it doesn't have a name. Uh, I mix the dark color and the kind of taupey color there together when I feel like that. But usually I'm lazy and I just kind of brush a gel on. So eyebrow stuff. This primer is supposed to go over there. That kind of thing. Then here, this slot has all of my cream bases. There's a paint pot there and two cream eyeshadows from e.l.f. Only complaint I have about these is the package is huge. Like it looks really nice and ritzy and everything, but they're kind of big, like compared to a paint pot. And then here's my primers and my paints and things like that. So again, that's as far as the drawer goes. So you can see how I have a hard time like seeing what's back here. So things can get lost in there. So you kind of have to know what's going on. Here I've got my little singles from Wet n Wild. Um, and Rimmel, they've got these new formulas out now that I quite like. I like their singles. And that's my one Victoria's Secret. Okay, then I've got, these are some mineral eyeshadows and just my little round, like MAC and Annabelle. And there's an Essence of Beauty one in here, or Essence, sorry. Then over here, I've got my little, uh, so see, this is what you do. When you start to run out of room, you can turn things on its side and just kind of pile them like this. And I'm keeping like with like, so I know, like, um, sometimes I find it easier to organize my makeup in order of color. Sometimes I find it easier to organize my color in name, uh, like, uh, sometimes I find it easier to organize everything in terms of brand names, because sometimes you're like, I feel like a purple eyeshadow, so it's good to go to the purple eyeshadows, but then sometimes I know I want mink by CoverGirl, so if I can go to my CoverGirl then I know that it's there as opposed to looking in the browns for that one particular one. It just feels, it just depends. I used to organize all my eyeshadows according to color. Now I kind of try to keep them together in brand. So I've got my CoverGirls here. Uh, the only CoverGirl palette that I like, which is the Sim Shimmering Sands. And then I've got a couple of NYX eyeshadows here. Uh, then I've got my little... Um, these are my duos and my little palettes. So I've got my NARS duo here, this little essence. This is really kind of a pretty smoky eye palette because they're, it, it's kind of got like a plummy tone to it. Um, that Sephora one's still hanging around. And this is a Caribbean collection from NYX. I'm going to move this over just a little bit so we can go over to this side now. So in the front here, I've got all my favorite palettes and I've done when I got this organizing unit I really kind of went through and I feel like I feel really horrible throwing out makeup but at the same point in time I hate just kind of hanging on to it and having like a drawer of dead makeup that I'm never going to wear and all it does is make me feel bad to look at so I kind of got rid of the ones that I don't wear and like kept my absolute favorites for example the um 
these uh, Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Trios. I had all of them, but I was really only using these two. So I kept it to these two and I got rid of the, you know, not, you either give away or throw out, depending on how much has been used, or give to a woman's shelter if something is brand new or has only been swatched. And then these are the two holiday palettes. So there's still room for me to grow here. And then I've got my Annabelle on top of the Mac because I actually prefer the Annabelle to the Mac. Just find that the color payoff is much better and they're cheaper. So then here I've got mascaras. I've gone a little crazy with mascaras lately. So I have two um, little slots here for mascaras. These are the ones that I grab the most. And then these are the ones that I use less frequently. But I'm still trying to use up. I paid quite a bit of money for some of them. Then, I mean, I started a year ago with one eyeliner. Now I have a whole bunch. So I've got my browns and my blacks, and then I have my uh, colors. And then these are things like um, <clears throat> glitter liquid eyeliners that I don't use that often. Some eyelash glue and my NYX jumbo pencils. Boop, boop. So this is probably the most boring drawer because there's not a lot going on here. This is my lips drawer. So right here at the front, I have my lipsticks and I have these now organized according to color. So I have them according to color and brand. Yeah. So we go from, there's some reds here. What's that one? Oh, why is that not written on there? Anyway, yeah, so we go to from reds to corals, to the kind of browns and neutrals and nudes, and then we're into our roses and our pinks, and then we go into our mauves. Then this is my lip gloss drawer, and again, I got rid of a lot of lip glosses because I was at a year since I bought them, so, you know, if the if the labeling is rubbed off and I can't tell what brand it is or what name it is, then I kind of get rid of them. And especially if you're using like a doe foot applicator on your lips every day and taking it in and opening it repeatedly throughout the day, the more you expose, you know, the applicator to air, the more quickly bacteria is going to grow. So, I mean, yeah, you get bacteria on there when you use it, but say I use that and then I put it in here and I don't open it again for another month, then there's really no need for me to throw that out every three months, okay? But if I'm opening it and doing this and, you know, repeatedly opening it throughout the day and I'm doing that for multiple days, then, yeah, you really have to keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on the consistency, like see if it goes watery. And keep an eye on the smell. The minute something smells wrong, get rid of it. So I've got whatever survived from the Rimmel Cull. And then I've got these little ones here. These are my um, elf ones. And then I've got one MAC lip gloss. These are my bare mineral, or sorry, everyday minerals. And then my favorites, which are the Revlon. And I've got all the pinks. So I think I'm going to branch out now and get some reds. Then this is my elf drawer. So... This is, these are lip balms, but they're like in a pot. They're great. Or, yeah, conditioning lip balm, SPF 15. So I have peace, what? Peaceful pink? Peaceful pink. And then this one is Dawn, I think. No, nice and, nice and natural. These are really good. I've said before a thousand times, you guys are sick of hearing me say, I love e.l.f. lip products. They're all very moisturizing and very... Yeah, so these ones all look like the Stila, but they're not their elf. These are the Luscious, what's your, who's it? What's your much call it? Hyper Shine Gloss. So they're the ones that have the brush top. And some of them are in my purse. And then these are the liquid lipsticks. And they've got the applicator like that. And then, again, I had one, and now I have a handful of lip liners. Um, these, Just to show you, these Annabelle ones are fantastic. That is a fantastic red. That's Cherry from Annabelle. Really smooth, lasts really well, great color, great pigmentation. And then this is for my lip balms, but some of them are missing. And again, there's still room to grow, but... I keep these lipsticks from rolling all over the place by putting another organizer right here. So, And it's got rubber feet so it won't slide when the drawer kind of goes like that. 
then down here but the bigger palettes that didn't fit in with the eyeshadow so there's my coastal sense back there this is a little um, hard candy face fax this is the bronze one that I got just before Christmas and the only complaint I have about this one is that there's no there's no packaging like what you see is what you get but it does stay closed there's like a little magnet here to keep it closed which is good and these eyeshadows are fantastic they're like bronzy little baked bronze ones and they're just the right amount of shimmer they're not too crazy like some hard candy can be this down here is a little scary this is supposed to be a bronzer but yeah okay and then the pink is like woo but makes a good highlighter but totally worth it and then it came with a little uh, primer as well but I've worn that a lot and that was like five bucks and then my favorite here are these elf and then down here we've got the um, Urban Decay New York Book of Shadows 3 and I've got some eyelashes here and then some presents but I have to get my act together and mail then this drawer is tools and creams and um because I like to sit here and do my nails while I watch videos at night so all my nail stuff's there and then the last drawer is just uh stationery and um camera equipment so there you go that's the Alex drawer unit from Ikea that's my new storage and collection video and that's all she wrote folks so I will talk to you soon Bye. Love ya.